In this video, I want to talk about adding some interactive user interface indicators to help notify your customers about things that are happening within your FileMaker solution. Now, what I'm about to show you was developed purely off the cuff, and it's really not that crazily complex. In fact, that's kind of the beauty of it. It's pretty simple. What I am talking about is a real easy way to let someone know that an action has just taken place on a specific record in a shared solution. And so for example, you see on the screen right here that we're going to send a an email to rsmith at rabconsulting.com and we have this kind of boilerplate email here that we want to send them for whatever reason. And normally within FileMaker databases, you know, you do something and the only easy way to tell someone that something has happened is to set a field in here and say, you know, this has been done or something or we can select the beep script step or show dialogue script step. Now the beep script step, you know, beeps in the person's face and it's maybe a little bit too much in their face. And the show dialogue requires an extra click of the mouse or a tap of a touch screen. And so it's almost too interactive for just a casual notification. It really gets into this issue of notifications within the FileMaker platform or in your app development at large and you have these things that are kind of casual notifications. So really this video ought to be called casual notifications with the FileMaker platform. Because everyone knows how to do a notification where it beeps, three beeps, beep, 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 and then a dialogue shows up and it says, you know, you've erased your entire database and you're out of business. Go find a job at McDonald's. So, you know, a in your face dialogue is one thing, but a casual, subtle, notification is really what we want. So how do we do this? Well, we've already got it set up in FM Starting Point. So if you download a current copy of FM Starting Point, you already have access to this right now. What we're doing is we're leveraging a capability that started with FileMaker 13. And it's really one of my more favorite features of the product. Something that I had been asking for since 1990, literally. What you see right here is this graphic right here that is not normally visible. And so the idea, of course, is we have a situation where we want to email someone and once the email is successfully sent, then this little green icon that we want to show up, that shows it's successful. Now the icon is totally arbitrary. I went on to Google and downloaded a free icon that we could use. It could be any sort of indicator here. Now in an ideal world, you know, you could have a dialogue show up temporarily. That's one thing FileMaker doesn't do is it doesn't have temporary dialogues that you can show and then dismiss automatically unless you want to make it a window, but then there's lots of flashing and stuff. So there's really no way of popping a dialog easily on this, but showing an icon over or near a button to indicate that that button successfully worked is a snap now, starting with FileMaker 13. And of course, I've started using this actively probably since yeah, March of 2015. So first off, you have to define the mission requirements of what we have. And I think my mission requirements right here are going to be useful for a vast majority of people. And the mission requirement is that we send an email and all I need to know is that this email that, you know, if I get called away in a phone call or I bring up an email or something else happens, that I actually did successfully press this button. And so it needs to show me an icon if I press this button recently. Well, for me, recently is right now and all the way to where I'm navigating around and suddenly I come back to this person and I go, oh, I got this email. Do I have I taken care of this? And I come back over here and I got this checkbox here which tells me that I actively sent an email to this person. And the way we do this is that it only shows this green icon on the record of the last person that I personally sent an email to. So if we have a shared solution like FM Starting Point, it's on the server, I got 10 people connected to it and I press this button on this H Snuggles person, right? Only I am going to see this little indicator on my screen. Now, you could wire it up a dozen different ways. You could have it show this on everyone's screen if you wanted to, but really this is only relevant to me. And I just want to make sure I don't send it like, you know, I send it and then there's nothing there and I press it again and I send it again and I press it again and I send it again because I, I've forgotten that I'd sent it. And of course I could dig over here into contact details and look in here and see the fact that I'd sent this already. But you know, the easy thing to do is actually just go over here and have this show up as a big green checkbox. Then we know, man, this has been taken care of, it email sent, there were no errors, it worked. Fantastic. So how do we wire this up? Well, it, the, the logic on it is really simple. 
But understand, once again, the logic that I'm going to show you is specific to a single user in a single session, which means that I am logged on as a user, and while this session is running, if I don't send any more emails, this will continue to show me an icon. Now, if I pop a new window, let's say I want to send an email to this info at RC Consulting person, notice that this uh, indicator is still right here. I can send it right now, and now it sent an email to this person. So the indicator comes on over here. Now it no longer shows over here because in my logic I've kind of moved on and I'm not worried about this previous indicator. And of course if you think about this a little bit, these indicators get into the issue of how long they last on screen. And I've been using this now with starting point in our internal finished goods system for a while and the logic here is really good at least for us internally. And that is once we send this and once we see this we know to move on to the next person to email them. Once I move on to like the next person over here, at least with our internal business processes, we wouldn't normally come back to this person and reinvestigate. This indicator is really good for an instantaneous notification. And then if I get distracted by something and I come back, I can see basically the last email that I just sent because it'll be indicated. So if I jump over here to this screen and I'm making a custom email and I write some additional things about, you know, there is a winning lottery uh, ticket in this download, which of course would be a highly awesome download. And then I take a phone call, right? You know, I get a, a phone call and you have, pick up the phone, you know. Hello, Richard Carlton. And I start talking to people. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, we, RCC makes four wheel drive trucks for off-roading, you know. And I hang up the phone. When I come back to this, I don't know the, where this email has been sent. And the easiest way would be to look for the green indicator. No green indicator, I press the button, the email processes, I get the green indicator. So understand the logic of this. So how does this work? Well, this indicator, all I'm using is a variable. And if I go into the data viewer, I can see that I've set a variable called last contact ID email sent. And so this is the variable that I'm setting. And the logic for this checkbox is so simple. It's like crazy simple. So as complex as this might seem to you, this is super easy. So check this out. I click on the item and I bring up the inspector. And the inspector has this option under the data tab, down in behavior, hide object win. And I have this variable right here, dollar dollar, has to be dollar dollar. Not one dollar, but two dollars, because it's a global variable. Last contact ID email sent and hide it if it doesn't match the current record ID. Now, internally within the FileMaker platform, there is a record ID that's maintained by FileMaker. Now, I could have used ID contact or anything else, but I just used FileMaker's internal record ID tracking system, which is different than any fields that you define. Record ID is like a hidden field that's within the database, okay? Now, once again, the logic here could be a dozen different things. But I just simply say, this icon gets hidden unless this variable right here equals the record ID for the current record. Well, the current record ID for this record right here, if you look over here in the data viewer, is 2558. And so when this script runs, it does all the work that we want it to do. This script, which is 0783, if I go to scripts, and I go to 0783, and I look at the script right here. I'm going to see down here at the bottom of the script for when it sends an individual script that it's going to set the variable right here under the success factor. So we send an email, it traps to see if there's an error message. If there's no error, then it sets this variable to the current record ID. That's the only script step that we had to add to our script to make this work. So we had this right here, one line, then we drop our graphic on here, and we had this one calculation right here. It's so simple. Now, of course, if I have different indicators on different screens or multiple indicators on the same screen, I need to make sure I keep this global variable straight. So this is the last contact of the ID that the email was sent. Now, it's the record ID, not the ID contact, but once again, if you've been watching our training and learning about relationships and whatnot, then you'll understand kind of what I'm talking about here. 
but rolling this out right here is just such a simple thing to do. I've rolled it out here, I roll it out in a number of different places, and the trick is just to make sure that the logic works for you. If this indicator had to be up here for the next days and weeks into the future, then this logic that we would be using here would be faulty. We'd have to change the logic. We would have to keep track of some flag on the screen, you know, where we set a flag of flag ID equals one, or yes, the email was sent, and if it equals that, then it, this icon is not hidden or is hidden or whatever the situation is. In this situation, every time I press this button, this global variable right here is going to be changed. And as a result, it will instantly update on screen for the current user in this current database session. And once again, this is supported with a multi-user environment with multiple users on a shared server. So there's a little tip for you for creating UI indicators within your FileMaker database and one really easy way of creating them. Mm -hmm.